Hello. Um, as I said last time, I'm going to take a break from talking about Star Wars so much. So, I'm going to talk about all the money in the world. It's a Ridley Scott film. Uh, <clears throat> oh, dude made Alien, Blade Runner, Thelma and Louise. Gladiator, The Martian, Prometheus, he made a lot of great films as well as some films that aren't so good. But, you know, <clears throat> I really enjoyed this film. Um, it's about uh, how John Getty III uh, gets kidnapped. Uh, his grandfather, John Getty, is at the time was like the richest man in the world, and he, uh, there was he was kidnapped was by and the kidnappers asked for ransom, and it, essentially, you know, it's based on a true story, obviously. So it took a, quite a while until uh, John Getty the third was. Uh, return safe and sound. Um, spoiler, I guess, but I think essentially, uh, I think a, this is a very well known story that I think people essentially know exactly how it ends, even before you go into the movie. But the film is actually worth watching because it's quite interesting what happens. Um, yes, there are some inaccuracies, but again, it's a it's a movie. At times, you're gonna embellish on the truth, because perhaps what really happened would be quite boring to watch. Um, <clears throat> sometimes, if there's quiet moments, depending on what the movie is and the tone, it could fit, but, like, uh, for this film, um, I don't think slow moments would have really helped at all. <clears throat> now, the movie is very well known for uh, one thing in particular, in that Kevin Spacey uh, got replaced. All footage of him was removed, and Christopher Plum replaced him as John Getty. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And there's a trailer with Kevin Spacey as Getty, and there are pictures of him as Getty. And honestly, uh, what they did to try and make him look like John Getty isn't, I don't think it was very good. If the makeup, it just, I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling it myself. Like, yeah, I can see this dude as Getty. Or, like, great makeup job. No, that was, yeah. Christopher Plummer did a fantastic job. You know, his, his look was more of what you would want as John Getty. Many people actually wondered, why didn't you just cast him in the first place? I mean, you know, Kevin Spacey, he's, you know, he's, he was a good actor. He was a good actor. I mean, I mean, he's still alive. But, and I guess he is still going to be in some movies. But this was quite something, you know. Uh, that whole scandal of his came about, removed it, and then like a month before they filmed, or they f released it into theaters. They uh, did it, redid, they reshot the whole, all of his, those scenes. And Plummer did a great job. Michelle Williams did a great job. Mark Wahlberg did a great job as well. Um, I know I've heard some people say Mark Wahlberg's not a very good actor, but uh, I think in the films like The Departed and um, Fighter, he's really good. There's other movies, you, I don't know, like The Happening was awful. He didn't give, give a good performance there. Um, but, yeah, um, it's whatever. Michelle Williams always is great. Um, every movie I've, ever, I've seen with her, she's amazing. She's one of those people that you watch and you just wonder, why doesn't she have an Academy Award? Um, I've talked about uh, Manchester by the Sea on this channel, and uh, 
it's actually up here, um, right here, and uh, she was nominated for this film, but she did not win. Uh, she should have won, but uh, Viola Davis was given the Oscar for Supporting Actress, even though she was really Best Actress, but I guess the studio really wanted her to get an Oscar. Uh, I think her performance in this was worth a nomination, at least. Um, whether she would have beaten Frances McDormand for three billboards is... Uh, I mean, she didn't beat her for the Golden Globe, so maybe that would have meant... Who knows? Could have been at the Apology sort of a Academy Award to Michelle Williams. I think she should have won at least for Manchester by the Sea. But that's just me. Um, try to give a short review this time. I uh, just wanted to say I saw this movie. I enjoyed it. Interesting story. Really happened. Um, embellished upon moments, perhaps, but just to try and keep things interesting and really showed how greedy Joe uh, or John Getty was and that he wanted more money. And now, when, and now there's a certain point where, well, now wouldn't be a good time to give a certain amount of money. Like, it seemed to be agreed at, or there seemed to be leaning towards that at one point in the movie where he was about to perhaps give a certain amount of money that should satisfy the kidnappers and then release uh, his grandson, but no. He wanted more money, because I guess the amount of money he has, oh, I need to keep all this, and I need to wait and make more. And it's like, as the title suggests, he has like all the money in the world. He, he's loaded. And, um, it's, it's, it's quite a story and quite amazing performances. Um, you know, Plummer got nominated for an Academy Award. Um, uh, I think that's a very well-deserved nomination. Um, didn't win, lost to Sam Rockwell. Um, but of all the nominees that year, I think, or last year, I believe he was the, Rockwell was the best that they nominated, so... You know, it's just, it's a, it's an interesting story. It's an interesting movie. I thought it was a good movie. Uh, great performances. I know some think some of the <clears throat> most recent efforts by Ridley Scott are either go from really great to really bad. I think this is really good. I don't know if I would say it's one of the best he's made in quite some time. Uh, I did enjoy The Martian. I thought that was a good movie, but again, it's just me. But yeah, uh, I thought All the Money in the World was a very good movie. I thought it was a very interesting, uh, interesting tale uh, to be told. Also, yes, also there is the, the ear cutting off. There's cut off part of the John Getty III's ear. He's Paul Getty. I know some people are like, yeah, he's, he went by Paul. Well, yes, that is true, but I don't know. Also, Paul's dad and uh, John Getty's son was really kind of a deadbeat. But yeah, uh, that's really it. I enjoyed the movie. Great performances, great direction. Very good. And uh, who knows, maybe Kevin Spacey could have gotten an Academy Award if he hadn't been uh, doing what he'd been doing all those years ago. They probably kept doing it. Even during the making of House of Cards. I apologize, I still have a cold, so as I said last time but <clears throat> I feel I am getting better at least uh, just doesn't sound like it but I feel like I am so 
that's a positive. Um, but anyway, I will see you all next time. Uh, hope you all have a good day. Hope you all have a good week. See you all later. Peace out.